Cops deny having ticket quotas, so why are motorists being arrested for driving under the influence when they say they haven't even been drinking? Lisa Guerrero reports. Imagine getting pulled over, put through a field sobriety test, and arrested for a DUI, except you were stone cold sober. I was shocked. It didn't make any sense. I was terrified. That's what these drivers say happened to them. John Schoonmaker says he's as sober as any man can be. He doesn't touch a drop of alcohol. I never drank it in my life. I didn't use drugs. Yet, here he is getting arrested for supposedly driving drunk in Florida. There was absolutely no reason for, for this to happen to me. Sure enough, a urine test later revealed what he knew to be a fact. He was stone cold sober. Schoonmaker is now suing the Brevard County Sheriff's Department, which denies he was wrongfully arrested. A similar thing happened to this man. One night, 50-year-old Harris Elias was driving in Loveland, Colorado, when he was pulled over for allegedly failing to signal. Suddenly, he found himself in a nightmare situation. Obviously, I could smell an overwhelming odor of alcohol. Don't fall over there. Uh, coming from your vehicle. Elias was perplexed. Like John Schoonmaker in Florida, he says he hadn't touched a drop. Okay. So imagine sure his shock when police officer okay. William right, Gates around, arrested him. Place your hands behind your back. Back at the station, Harris took a breathalyzer. Okay, go ahead and blow as hard as you can and as long as you can. It came back showing zero, meaning absolutely no evidence of alcoholic consumption. Case closed, right? Nope. I understand that you blew triple zeros, so that leads me to believe that there's something else going on. I was dealing with an officer who was absolutely, in my mind, untrustworthy. A blood test taken that night later confirmed what Harris knew to be the case. No booze in his system. In a lawsuit, Harris says the police officer in question has allegedly arrested at least four other motorists for DUIs who later proved to be sober. And there appears to be zero consequence for destroying somebody's life, an innocent citizen's life, with a bad arrest. According to court papers, Officer Gates regularly brags that he has one of the highest DUI arrest rates in the state. Now, amid all the scrutiny, his police department has launched an internal investigation. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. We tried to speak to Officer Gates. We'd just like to ask you about the DUIs. But he didn't want to talk. So we spoke to his boss. Officer Gates uh, makes uh, DUI arrests in, in the performance of his duties. He's very de dedicated to traffic safety and we're extremely grateful for his uh, service to our community when it comes to DUI enforcement. Loveland Police Chief Robert Tyser. Can you imagine how frustrating and humiliating that would be to be arrested for DUI when in fact you weren't drinking and blew a 0, 0.0? I believe that when this officer or any officer in this department makes an arrest, it's based on solid probable cause. It has been the most embarrassing, stressful thing that I've ever experienced. Charges against both the men we spoke with were dropped.